This is a big day for him, but it's going to go great, huh? Okay, say hi everyone! Hi. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are potty training Kaden. This is not my first go around because I did train Brooklyn last year, but it is our first potty training experience with a boy. So we shall see how this goes. Alright, so in this video, I am going to be giving you updates of how the potty training is going today. I am also going to slip in some tips and tricks that I found to be helpful when I potty trained Brooklyn and that I'm going to try out with Caden. So there are a lot of methods out there that work for parents and kids. I just found that I didn't want to stick to one particular method to kind of combine the things that I liked about different methods and kind of create my own combination of things. But we do use a sticker chart, sort of a reward system, to help them sort of recognize the cause and effect. It's time to go in the toilet instead of in their diaper. Okay, as far as preparing Caden for the potty training experience, there are a few things we did to kind of get him excited about it. I bought his underwear quite a bit ago so that he would become familiar with it and excited about it. We also would change his diaper in the bathroom at least a few days prior to when we scheduled potty training. Wherever he went in his diaper, we would just bring him to the bathroom and change him in there. It would bring up lots of conversation about how we are going to start getting the pee and the poop in the toilet. Another tip that I think is really important is to make sure nothing big happens around the time of the potty training. Giving a, a buffer of at least a month before and a month after potty training. Big vacations, if another sibling is born, if you guys are moving, things like that. Another thing that I think is really important is to make sure that they are ready and that they are showing signs. It will go way easier and I found this out with Brooklyn. I will add that sometimes they even show the signs but they may not quite be ready yet. Brooklyn I actually potty trained twice. The first time it was not successful and I gave it a good five days of the whole experience but she just wasn't quite ready yet we tried i think about six months later or something like that that worked out so much better it was maybe two or three days and i'm definitely glad we waited for her Caden, he's shown some signs he tells me every time he goes he asks to be changed another thing to consider is it is easier when they're able to pull up and down their pants and step on the stool easily and navigate commands and those sort of things of of course, different things work for different people and that's totally fine. One little tip that worked great, other than obviously bringing an extra change of clothes just in case, with girls to put them in dresses, that actually really helped because then sometimes you just have to change that underwear and that's it. With both boys and girls, I've heard that waterproof shoes, easy shoes to rinse off is also really helpful. This is going to be your potty chart. Okay, I'm gonna make lots of squares. Okay, Kaden, once we fill up this potty chart, we get to go pick out a toy at the store. <gasps> Does that sound great? We can pick my toy at the door. You can come and make when you go potty in the toilet, you get a sticker on your potty chart, okay? And what happens when we fill up your potty chart? We get to go pick out a toy at the store. But you gotta go potty in the toilet, okay? So we can earn that toy. That will be awesome. Let's get your underwear on, okay? I go watch you guys. Okay, are you ready to wear big boy underwear? Okay, so where where does your pee pee go? And where does your poo poo go? In the toilet. In the toilet. Okay, which ones do you want to wear? Soccer ball, black or red or stripy? I want soccer ball. Soccer ball. Okay, here you go. Woo! <laughs> So cute, Kaden. Here, 
Here, do you want some water? Have some water. In the beginning, I usually start out just hanging out in the bathroom until he at least goes once. We're very close to the toilet. He can get on and off the toilet if he wants, but I do encourage him to spend a lot of time on the toilet, so we'll read books or whatever we want to do. So these are the training pants, or pull-ups, I guess, that we got for Caden. These are just from Target, the Up and Up brand. He'll be in size 4T to 5T. So we just do away with diapers, whole turkey. He's just fully in underwear, except for nap time and night time. We just put a pull-up, we put those training pants on, over his underwear so that he still knows that the goal is to not get them wet, but just in case, then there's not a big mess on our hands. That's that's kind of what we did with Brooklyn and it worked great. Kaden, what did you just do? And go potty. Yeah, you yeah, went he potty. Yeah. He's gonna fold up his shirt. But sorry. Okay, Kaden, you can pick out a sticker right here. You wanna pick one out? Put, put it on the shirt. Okay, oh, find a good spot. Maybe this one right here. When he needs Try to go again. potty. You guys, it was like the tiniest bit, but we're happy about it. Woohoo! High five, buddy. Nice job. And you got a sticker. Okay, the funny thing is, is he like he climbed up onto the edge of the toilet and like squatted down and then peed in the toilet. I was <laughs> like, okay, whatever works, right? Yeah. Flush and wash and be on your way. You ready to wash hands? Okay. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Okay, so now that he's been on the toilet, he got a sticker for it, he kind of knows the process, we go outside of the bathroom at this point. So I will share with you our little technique. Even if he just wets his pants, which is going to happen, he's gonna wet his pants. Even after he goes potty, we run to the potty and we sing our little potty song that basically helps him to associate like, oh, I need to run to the potty. And then over time, it'll start to get sooner and sooner. We do the little jingle song thing that seems to help. How does the jingle song sound? Do you remember? It goes run, run to the... Run, run to the... Run, run to the potty, cause I'm a big kid now. That's mine. Yeah, do you remember that? We're gonna do that with Caden today. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright on your chair yeah and we got to get our pee pee in the toilet huh next time can you say mama I go pee pee and we'll run run to the potty okay we'll get it next time okay all right mama, which, how do you say um, cycle ball yeah. red or black Thanks for helping. So next time, next time you need to go potty, what do we do? 
Run, run to the potty. Good. Okay, let's wipe you up. Clean it all up. Soak it all up. Good job. Good. And then you know where the basket is? Next time you need to go potty, tell mama. Okay? I did want to add another tip, and that is to, instead of ask them over and over and nag them, hey, do you need to go potty? Hey, hey, let's go potty. Do you need to go potty? I remind them to tell me when they need to go, and that kind of gives them more a sense of control and that it's their choice. It's under their stewardship or responsibility. Okay, Kaden, can you tell me when you need to go potty? Okay, awesome. Riley's awake. And me awake. Hi, baby. Me awake? Yep, and we're just having a little bit of lunch. And we're really just hanging out in the kitchen today, just in case if anything happens. We're coloring, we're eating. Hi, baby. <laughs> you want some of this? Good job. <laughs> to the party, run, run. To the party, run, run, to the party, cause I'm a big kid now, woo! You could go pee pee on the toilet. Mommy, I go fall. Did you fall? Do you need a hug? Okay. I'm sorry, love ya. <laughs> Should we sing some songs? Pet one. Pet one? Oh, the peck one? I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around my neck. I can sing a mouse one to you. Okay, thanks. Go mouse, for it. Mouse, 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 da, 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 da. That was beautiful, Brooklyn. Thank you. Can you tie my shoes for Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Mama. take a nap okay we are going to put the pull up over your underwear and you're gonna keep your underwear dry the best you can these pull ups have dinosaurs on them that looks great Kaden we're gonna try to go potty one more time and then it's nap time okay this is called an elephant with big fluffy ears all right Kaden we sang a song are you ready to try again later Hey, did you wake up from your nap? Let's run to the potty and see if we go. They're all dry. Good job. High five. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> you went potty. Brooklyn, he's going pee pee on the potty. Yay. Oh my gosh. You did so good. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, what do you get to do when you go pee pee in the potty? You get a sticker. Do you remember where your stickers are? I think they're in here. Here, you get to pick your sticker and put it on your chart. Okay, pick one out. Opening it. Yay, buddy. Kaden, I'm so excited for you. Are you ready for a snack? Oh, yeah. Okay. Kaden, did you go pee in your underwear? Yeah, I'm like a bike. On your bike, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Ask for help. Say, can you help me take this off? Please? You had an accident? 
Didn't get too far, did you? Just down by the bridges. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video I sent you? No, I'll have to look. Okay, you guys, it is the end of day one, and so I thought I would give you a little update of how it went today and just kind of a recap of what happened. Hayden ended up going twice in the toilet, which was awesome, and one of the times he even told me that he wanted to go and made it. He had two accidents. One was inside and then one was outside, which I will put that clip in that Trevor sent me because it's pretty funny. Kaden, what happened? There's no pee-pee. You went pee-pee? Yeah. Did we go home and get you some new underwear? Yeah, overall, honestly, it was a lot better. With Brooklyn, I just gave her tons of fluids so that she would go a ton. And with Kaden, I tried to offer him some, but I didn't push it too hard. So he didn't end up really even needing to go very much today. We'll see as things progress. It might be a slower training and take a few more days, but we'll see how it goes. I think he's doing really well. The fact that he woke up dry with his pull-up during his nap was kind of a big deal to me. So we'll see how the night goes. He is gonna wear his underwear and his pull-up over his underwear. I will keep you updated and let you know how day two goes.